Let's talk just a bit about the three sort of possibilities for graphing quadratic equations. And keep in mind as I'm doing this that everything could be inverted. I'm going to deal with vertical parabolas that go up and down, um, but the concepts still hold when you're going um, up and down and the parabola opening downward, and they even hold when you're going sideways to a certain extent. The point being that there are three possibilities for the number of solutions or the number of x-intercepts you can run into, no matter how the parabola ends up being faced. Um, there will always be sort of these three possibilities of what your solutions are. So let's take a look at uh, these three examples real quick and you'll see what I mean. Our first one has two uh, x-intercepts, one at x equals positive 3, you can see it marked here in green, and one at x equals negative 2, also here in green. That gives us a uh, line of symmetry right here at x equals 1 half. And if we plug 1 half in real quick here for x, we get uh, 1 quarter, 1 half squared, plus 1 half minus 6, so we get 3 quarters minus 6, or negative 5 and a quarter, which means that our vertex is down here somewhere. And this parabola graphs like this. comes up from down below, crosses the x-axis at both of these points, and goes on up into, into infinity there. The second one, if we factor this one out, we get x minus 1 times x minus 1, or if you like, x minus 1 quantity squared. And remember, in order to find the x-intercepts, we have to solve for y equals 0. Well, the only solution that makes this equal to 0 is x equals 1, which means this one only has a single intercept right here. And then if we plot just a couple of points, uh, say 2, if x is 2, we get 4 minus 2 times 2, so negative 4, so that's 0, plus 1 is 1. So if x is 2, y is 1. And if x is 0, then y is also 1, so we have another point over here. So this parabola kind of goes up like this somehow. And we can see that it only just touches the x-axis right here at a single point. So that one's only going to have one single x-intercept. And then our last example here, we have y equals x squared plus 4. Well, if y is 0, then we end up with x squared plus 4 equals 0, which is the same as saying negative 4 equals x squared. And there are no solutions that'll do that. There are no numbers that you can square to get a negative answer. So there aren't going to be any x-intercepts at all. We can find some points where the, where the graph can be plotted, but none of them are actually going to touch the x-axis. So let's say what happens when x is 0. Well, if x is 0, this cancels, and y is 4. So we have a point right here. If x is 1, then y is 5. If x is negative 1, y is still 5. So this parabola goes up kind of like this, right on the y-axis. So there's our three possibilities. And remember, this could all be inverted, but the idea is that one of the possibilities is that you have your vertex on one side of the x-axis, and then the parabola moves toward the axis and crosses it in two places, and you get two x-intercepts, or two solutions. The other possibility, or another possibility, is that the axis is just touched by the parabola, and then you only get a single solution. And the third and final possibility is that the parabola starts on one side of the axis and then continues going in that direction, meaning that it never crosses the x-axis at all, and you end up with no solutions at all.